Please do not listen to this while driving or operating machinery. Only listen when and where you can safely relax. Headphones or earbuds will enhance your listening experience. Welcome, dear and brave travelers, to divine self-hypnosis, where all hypnosis is self-hypnosis, guided by your intentions, as you take responsibility for your own well-being. This past life regression to your multiple past lives is intended for those who are experienced and well-versed in past life regression. If you are new to this healing modality, I would like to suggest that you please visit our channel and start with our beginner session. My name is Connie and I am delighted to bring to you this hypnosis session for exploring your multiple past lives and how they may relate to your current life's issues and challenges you may be encountering. By experiencing multiple past lives that are related to one another, you will be shown a fuller picture of the patterns, phobias, and why you do the things you do. Those things and events that are repeated in your current life. Sometimes a series of past lives will carry a common thread that runs through them with similar patterns experiences and life lessons that unfold in different and multiple scenarios. Once we recognize the patterns, we are then given the opportunity to work with them and release any and all energy being held by them. Simply by being a compassionate and kind witness to these experiences, thereby bringing healing and wholeness to our lives. Before we begin, imagine a basket outside your door. Go ahead and place your thoughts around any judgment or disbelief you may hold regarding past lives in the basket until the end of this session. They will be there if you wish to pick them up again. Taking in a couple of nice, long, Deep and cleansing breaths all the way in and holding it for just a moment, then letting it all the way out, all the way in and holding that breath for just a moment, then letting it all the way out and one more deep breath in and hold then letting that breath all the way out releasing any tension or tightness that may be present 
allowing for the normal pattern of your breath to be present as you move your body into a comfortable position. And any thoughts that come up for you around the day's activities, just allow them to drift and float on by for now as you bring yourself fully into this space. You notice that your eyelids are beginning to feel very, very heavy. And with each blink, as you open and close your eyelids, each time the top lid touches and rests, oh, so gently, on the bottom lid, you find your eyelids becoming heavier and heavier, creating a feeling of soft comfort and peace washing over you. And if you try to open them, you notice that you really don't want to open them because you are so relaxed in this peaceful comfort, knowing that you are safe and protected. And if you haven't already done so, uncross your arms and legs while you prepare to experience a feeling of peace and well-being as you continue to breathe gently and slowly. By your continued commitment to learn and hone the skill of exploring past lives, your regressions are becoming easier and more productive with time like when you were young and learning to tie your shoes, which at first seemed like a very complicated task. But with practice and before long, this skill became automatic. And once mastered, you remember how good this made you feel and how very proud you were of yourself to learn such an important and lifelong skill. It matters not whether you believe in past lives for this multiple past life regression session to work for you. What does matter, what is needed, is to simply invite that very curious part of you to relax and be open to the idea and see what wants to unfold. What wants to happen? And by practicing and listening to this repeatedly, each session creates the opportunity for a personal healing quest, a spiritual odyssey, as you learn to trust yourself more and more by uncovering the tools, resources, self-empowerment, and nurturing your own happiness, peace, and love that resides in you always. Feeling your body sinking deeper and deeper into a blissful state of comfort and 
deep relaxation as I count backwards from 10 to 1, with 1 being the perfect state of deep relaxation, calm, and peace that is just right for you. 10, 9, feeling all the muscles in your face and neck, relax, 8, 7, feeling all your muscles in your chest, back, and belly, relax, 6, 5, feeling all the muscles in your arms, hands, and fingers, relax, as you go deeper, 4, 3, feeling all the muscles in your hips, legs, feet, and toes, relax, 2, Begin to notice that the deepest part of your unconscious mind is listening and that every beautiful cell in your body is listening and you are open to the suggestions that will benefit you most as you follow the sound of my voice. Know that at any time, if you wish to end this hypnosis session, you will be able to do so in whatever way is most comfortable for you, such as saying to yourself, I am fully awake and I open my eyes. Take a moment to gather in and clarify for yourself what it is you would like to find the answers to. What issues or concerns would you like to focus on in your quest to explore your past lives? What has 
has an emotional charge over you. Throughout this entire hypnosis session and beyond, know that you are protected and safe, and you will only remember what you are ready to know and remember. What you are ready to heal, I will give you a few moments. In this moment, invite your higher self, the one who has been with you on every journey in every life, to be present with you now. That infinite and loving part of you that is with you always, in witness to your human experiences. That connection to the universe and the divine, however you might imagine that to be. It might be something that you sense and feel in some way, presenting itself as a voice or a sound, allowing for something to be heard or it may take shape and form, color and light, an image, allowing for something to be seen. Take a moment and allow for this presence and holy guidance to make itself known to you for the purpose of your empowerment. Love and support on your journey through these multiple lives. When in a place where you may experience trouble seeing or understanding what is happening during this session, in that moment, Ask your higher self for that assistance. It could be as simple as saying, Higher self, please allow me to see what I am ready to see. Or, please help me to understand what I am ready to understand. Your higher self is there to protect you and guide you and by developing that channel of communication, more insights and understanding will happen. And as we turn the responsibility over to your higher self to go as deep or as light as you need to go, Go to the level that is most comfortable for you, allowing yourself all the comfort you need as you continue to deepen and expand your awareness throughout this hypnotic process. Your unconscious knows your mind better than your conscious mind does. And that's the part of your mind that you are accessing now. That deep part of your mind where who you really are resides. Where your desires reside. 
your dreams reside, where your imagination, curiosity, and happiness resides. Now imagine yourself, or maybe you don't need to imagine at all, as you are strolling down a beautiful and peaceful path that winds through a very ancient forest. You feel the springiness of the soft ground on the path under your feet due to the many, many years of leaves and plant debris that has drifted and floated from the treetops, gently landing on the forest floor, eventually becoming over a long process of breaking down nourishment for these giant, noble, and wise beings of the forest. And with each step you take, you feel the energy of the forest flowing up through the bottoms of your feet as deep feelings of peace and well-being continue to wash over you. Soon as you go deeper and deeper, you see a fork in the path ahead of you. From the point where you are, you can see on the right side, next to the ancient forest, the path leads to a beautiful and lush meadow. On the left side, that path leads up a tall mountain, spiraling around till it reaches the top of the mountain, where you notice a faint glow of a golden light. Your curiosity has you wondering about the source of this golden light, so you decide to take the path that spirals up the mountain, slowly going higher and higher up the path, you notice the sound of many small, trickling, and sparkling waterfalls. And the vibrant colors and fragrances of the wildflowers growing on the side of the path in your ascent up the mountain Noticing the air growing sweeter and lighter, brighter and a little cooler. The color of the sky growing more vivid and blue with luminous white puffy clouds drifting by as you proceed higher and higher until you reach the top where you can now see the source of the golden light radiating out the windows and in all directions from a golden luminescent temple.
before you even reach the temple, the energy has reached and touched your heart, filling you with so much peace, love and joy, welcoming you and with reverence and deep respect, you move closer and closer till you reach the bottom of the steps. Noticing the seven steps that lead up to the temple, they are unlike any steps you've seen before and it soon becomes very apparent just how special these steps are as they allow for many things to happen including a clearing, balancing and harmonizing of your chakra centers. Standing at the bottom you notice a place for your shoes as you remove them from your feet before taking the first step up to the temple of healing light. As you continue to breathe in fully and deeply, taking your first step up, you pause for a moment and notice that once your foot has touched the step, that step has turned a sparkling red. As you breathe in the soft vibration and energy of the color red into your root chakra. And with the touch of your other foot, the second step turns a sparkling orange as you breathe this energy into your sacral chakra. Taking the third step up as it turns a sparkling yellow. Feel the soft energy rising to your solar plexus, your third chakra. Now, taking the fourth step up, seeing this step turn a sparkling green as you breathe this sweet energy all the way up into your heart chakra. And now take the fifth step up as you notice the step turn blue as it sparkles. Breathe in the soft vibrations of blue into your throat chakra. And on the sixth step up, you notice this step turn the color of indigo. Breathe in this sparkling vibration and energy into your sixth chakra, your third eye. Now taking the last step up, the seventh step, as it turns a sparkling violet. You reach the entrance to the temple of healing light, feeling and seeing the bright radiance 
vibration and energy rising up through your body all the way to your crown chakra above your head your seventh chakra the soul star the center of your spirituality enlightenment allowing for an inward flow of wisdom and cosmic consciousness breathe in the soft vibration and energy of the color violet into your crown chakra you are now at the threshold of the sacred temple of healing light before you enter through the doors you pause for just a moment to think about what your intentions are to regress to a time and explore multiple lives as they relate to each other Standing at the threshold, you feel confident, prepared, and balanced as all the chakra centers are cleared and working together, spinning and humming in perfect harmony and full expression of your wholeness and well-being. You open the door and with great reverence you step into the temple of healing light and close the door behind you. Once inside the temple you notice that it is filled with wonderful things, beautiful things like giant crystals and small crystals, sacred herbs and instruments, art objects, and woven tapestries. You smell the faint wisps of burning sage and Palo Santo. Take a moment to walk around and explore the beauty inside the temple. You notice that in the very center of the temple of healing light, there are a few steps going down to an area that is filled with the softest, fluffiest pillows and the warmest blankets as you find a cozy spot to lie down. Looking up, you see above you a beautiful dome. In the center of the dome, there is an opening allowing you to see the stars and the Milky Way. Streams and beams of energy and light that are just right for you begin to ever so slowly, ever so gently envelop you, bathing you in light, 
shining, sparkling, and swirling all around you, creating a protective cocoon within this vortex of light. Seeing all the colors of the chakras streaming out of you like a rainbow. Swirling and blending with the sparkling white light streaming upward out the center of the dome into the night sky gently lifting and carrying you up and out through the opening in the top of the temple, floating higher and higher, you are deeply relaxed, calm and comfortable, safe and protected. Looking down, you see the temple, forest, and meadow, along with the path you were walking on earlier, getting smaller and smaller as you allow the sparkling colors to support and gently guide and carry you back, back to your teen years. childhood, back to the time of your birth, back to the comfort of your mother's womb. Passing through the magical portal to the first of your multiple lives, to a lifetime that will answer your deepest questions, your deepest concerns, into what may be holding you back from living your fullest and best version of you. As I count from five to one, you move back in time to that life, to the events that hold the most important and significant information directly related to what you wish to explore and discover. With your higher self as your constant companion to guide you, and protect you. Five, back through time and space. Four, traveling back to the past life, most relevant. Three, breathe your way deeply back, all the way back to that time. Two, almost there. And one, You have arrived. Standing in the body and personality of an earlier life in another time and place. You can see with your inner eye, hear with your inner ear, with amazing clarity. Through your kinesthetic awareness, 
taking on the cloak of energy and personality of this past life, the first thing you may notice are your hands. What information can you gather by looking at them? Looking down at your feet, are they covered or bare? If covered, what are you wearing on your feet? Looking up your body, you become aware of the size and shape of your body. If you have clothes on, what materials are they made from? Notice the colors, style, and textures of the clothes. And if you wear a hat or something else on your head, See if you are holding any tools, instruments, or devices that you may use for your work or hobbies. How old are you? What does it feel like to be in this body? What language do you speak? What thoughts are you thinking? What emotions are you feeling? What is it like to be you? As you gradually come in touch with your surroundings, what are you aware of? What are you seeing, feeling, smelling, and hearing as you are becoming more and more aware of all that is happening in and around you?
What time in history is this? What year is it? Trusting the first thing you see that will inform you. Are you alone or with others? If others are with you, listen to their voices and notice the language they are speaking. Do they call you by name? Taking all the time you need, see what skills, abilities, knowledge, and gifts that define a part of who you are in this lifetime, allowing you to see what challenges, barriers, and difficulties you may also have. Take this time to go directly to the event that will answer your questions. What is your purpose for being here? How are you perceiving others in response to you or your actions?
take this moment to record and store this information by making your mental notes, as you might be wondering about now why this particular past life came to you today. You will easily remember the details of this past life regression as this will serve you in your evolution and understanding, bringing forgiveness and loving kindness for yourself and others. safe and protected with the constant guidance and support of your higher self, moving deeper into your experience to the end of this life to see how this life ended. As I count from one to three, move into the death experience of this past life. One, Two, three. How old are you when you die? Is anyone present with you when you die? What are the circumstances and events that lead to your death? At the moment of your death, what are you seeing, thinking, and feeling? Once you feel complete in your understanding of what happened, move past the death experience, floating up and out of that body, feeling so peaceful, so calm, as you can see everything clearly from here, seeing the big picture the overview, the life lessons.
what happens after your death. Moving up to that higher state of consciousness in between lives, what do you experience next? Sensing the presence of your angels and guides, what messages are you receiving from them? What meaning and lessons do you gather in from this lifetime? How does this past life event relate to what you are experiencing in your present life? What do you need to know and do in your current life, the life you are currently living now, to bring healing, and if possible, to bring healing and forgiveness to yourself and others? What soul lessons did you learn in that lifetime? Take the next few moments to thank your past self by sending your blessings, love, and healing light. In this state of deep relaxation, you find you are easily and effortlessly able to fluidly move forward 
or backward in time as you wish to a different but related past life. Moving now as I count from three to one, with one fully embodying this next related past life. Three, moving now. Two, traveling easily and effortlessly as you know how to do this. And one. You are now standing in another past life. How old are you? What are you aware of? Looking closely and examining everything around you, including yourself. What does it feel like? to be in this body, what do you notice most about your physical body? What type of dwelling do you live in as you are able to see what that looks like, what it is made of, and where you sleep? What and where do you eat? Looking around, you see who else might be living with you and the relationship you have together. Who are they? Is there anyone there that you recognize? If you are able to look deeply into their eyes, do you sense a familiarity with them?
taking all the time you need, see what skills, abilities, knowledge, and gifts that define a part of who you are in this lifetime, allowing you to see what challenges, barriers, and difficulties you may also have. Take this time to go directly to the event that will answer your questions. What is your purpose for being here? How are you perceiving others in response to you or your actions? Knowing you are safe and protected with the constant guidance and support of your higher self, moving deeper into your experience to the end of this life to see how this life ended. As I count from one to three, move into the death experience of this past life. One, two, three. How old are you when you die? Is anyone present with you when you die?
What are the circumstances and events that lead to your death? of your death, what are you seeing, thinking, and feeling? Once you feel complete in your understanding of what happened, move past the death experience, floating up and out of that body, feeling so peaceful, so calm, as you can see everything clearly from here. Seeing the big picture, the overview, the life lessons, What happens after your death? Moving up to that higher state of consciousness in between lives, what do you experience next? Sensing the presence of your angels and guides, what messages are you receiving from them? What meaning and lessons do you gather in from this lifetime?
does this past life event relate to what you are experiencing in your present life? do you need to know and do in your current life, the life you are currently living now, to bring healing and if possible, to bring healing and forgiveness to yourself and others? What soul lessons did you learn in that lifetime? Take the next few moments to thank your past self by sending your blessings, love, and healing light. In this state of deep relaxation, you find that you easily and effortlessly are able to fluidly move forward or backward in time as you wish to a different but related past life. Moving now as I count from three to one with one fully embodying this next but also related to the other past lives. Three Moving now, two, traveling easily and effortlessly as you know how to do this, and one. You are now standing in another different but related past life. Where are you now? How old are you? What are you aware of? Looking closely and examining everything around you, including yourself. What does it feel like to be in this body? What do you notice most about your physical body?
Looking around, you see who else might be living with you and the relationship you have together. Who are they? Is there anyone there that you recognize? If you are able to, looking deeply into their eyes, do you sense a familiarity with them? Taking all the time you need, see what skills, abilities, knowledge, and gifts that define a part of who you are in this lifetime, allowing you to see what challenges, barriers, and difficulties you may also have. Take this time to go directly to the event that will answer your questions. What is your purpose for being here?
How are you perceiving others in response to you or your actions? Knowing you are safe and protected with the constant guidance and support of your higher self, moving deeper into your experience to the end of this life to see how this life ended. As I count from one to three, move into the death experience of this past life. One, two, three. How old are you when you die? Is anyone present with you when you die? What are the circumstances and events that led to your death? At the moment of your death, what are you seeing, thinking, and feeling? Once you feel complete in your understanding of what happened, move past the death experience, floating up and out of that body, feeling so peaceful, so calm, as you can see everything clearly from here, seeing the big picture, the overview the life lessons.
what happens after your death. Moving up to that higher state of consciousness in between lives, what do you experience next? Sensing the presence of your angels and guides, what messages are you receiving from them? What meaning and lessons do you gather in from this lifetime? Does this past life event relate to what you are experiencing in your present life? What do you need to know and do in your current life? The life you are currently living now to bring healing and if possible to bring healing and forgiveness to yourself and others. What soul lessons did you learn in that lifetime? Take the next few moments to thank your past self by sending blessings, love, and healing light. Ask your higher self to bring to the forefront and magnify any feelings or emotions 
related to the issue you are exploring. How are all these past lives related to one another? And then notice what comes into your awareness as you are becoming more and more aware of your awareness. Feeling very peaceful, calm, and relaxed, going deeper and deeper into your experience, knowing that you are safe and protected in perfect partnership with your higher self to guide you, taking all the time you need to explore these events to see if anything else wants to happen. While allowing your higher self to guide you, take the next few moments of non-directive time to explore within these past lives and other experiences that may hold significance for you. With a smile and grateful heart, you gather in and bring back with you all the insights, wisdom, lessons, and benefits of this experience, as it is now time to return back through the magical portal. Floating back down through the opening in the top of the Temple of Healing Light. Drifting and resting 
ever so gently into the soft pillows and blankets on the temple floor. Looking up through the dome of the temple, gazing at all the stars and constellations, twinkling and shining down on you, watching over you, the light that has been brought to earth. You are a soul traveling through different roles, through different lives, to learn your soul lessons. And if we are all one as many different spiritual traditions and philosophies teach us, then what affects one affects us all. And when you heal yourself, you contribute to the healing of your ancestors, descendants, each other, and our planet. You have been born with this wisdom, the wisdom of knowing that you are a celestial being, a celestial walker on this earth, using the golden thread, you move about to connect and weave your beautiful creations into the web of life, holding all of it in unbroken holiness. Energy is moved through your intent. And when you set an intention, all your allied forces show up. The angelic beings from the angelic realms, your wise and well ancestors, your spirit guides that have the highest good and best intentions for you. Working through synchronicities guidance, love, and grace. All are here to support and assist you in these cycles of birth, creating rest and death. You are safe. You are always safe even in death, for death is your ally, your teacher, always reminding you of the preciousness of this beautiful life. Through practicing and listening to this repeatedly, you are planting, nourishing, and watering the seeds of your own happiness and healing. You are supported by your higher self and the universe in all the ways that will allow you to be present and mindful in your thoughts and actions. This loving and caring part of you has been with you always. It has helped you through difficult times in the past and will continue to love, guide, and support you in these current times and challenges 
as you develop an appreciation for that part of yourself that wants to keep you safe and happy as you deeply and completely love, honor, and accept yourself and where you are in the arc of your life in this present moment and know that at any time and with your intentions you can return to your sacred place the temple of healing light whenever you wish remembering to relax deeply with your breath breathing in all the colors following the path back to this wonderful, relaxing, and peaceful place. And each time that you try, you find it easier and easier to do so. If you are ready to settle in for the night, you can relax into a deep and peaceful night's sleep, knowing that you are gently integrating your past life regression experiences and continued healing is taking place as you sleep. Calling in and asking the angels of the white light to seek across all time and space for any parts of you that may have been lost, fragmented, or scattered along the way. Integrating, healing, and returning them back to you, to all levels of your being sending sparkles of healing white light to do any needed or necessary repair work to those areas in your physical, emotional, ethereal energy systems, feeling a deep sense of wholeness and well-being as you are being bathed in healing, sparkling white light, bringing in the divine presence and light. Soon, you begin to feel sleepier and sleepier, your body sinking deeper and deeper into the soft pillows and warm blankets, so peaceful, so calm and relaxed as you begin to drift and float into a blissfully peaceful and enchanting night's sleep, knowing that you are safe, you are protected, you are precious, you 